Oh, my name is Bob Jelinek. I'm 71 years old. Um, basically, in the book, there's um, a guy who's a reporter, and he goes and he, he finds out his old college professor was um, diagnosed with ALS. So he goes there and he meets up with him every Tuesday, and they talk about different life regrets and things of that nature. Okay, so um, the first section we're going to do is aging. Mm -hmm. um, What's the first thing you noticed about getting older? Oh, I would imagine that uh, I've slowed down a little bit. Uh, physically, I can't move as fast. I can't make sudden turns. Uh, well, I can still do it, but not with the, with the speed and the agility that, that I used to when I was younger. Okay. That's probably the biggest thing that I've noticed. Okay, uh, what's the biggest thing you've had to cope with getting older? Um, as I've gotten older, I've had a chance to reflect on my life uh, from the past, and there are certain things that I wish that I would have done differently, obviously knowing now what I didn't know then. Mm -hmm. uh, so I'd say that was the biggest thing. Okay, um, what are some benefits of aging? I think some of the benefits of aging are to see how younger people are reacting to various circumstances and it gives you as a, um, an older adult uh, the chance to perhaps help them a little with some of the things that they're faced with that they may have difficulty with or be able to point out to them uh, different things that they may want to think about or consider as life goes on. Okay, um, so what have you done in your life? What, is your, what was your career? Uh, I was in the food business my entire life. I started out in the restaurant business, and then I went into food sales, and um, I've sold to the military in Europe and Asia. Uh, I've sold nationally across the United States to healthcare facilities, hospitals, nursing homes, things of that nature. And uh, I also was the marketing manager for the company that I worked for for a number of years. And uh, basically in sales and marketing my entire life. Interesting. Okay, uh, now we're going to move on to regrets. Um, what are some of the biggest regrets that you faced? That I wasn't able to spend um, more time with my mother when she was on her deathbed. Okay. Um, and if you, could, if you had three wishes, what would they be? Well, hindsight's always 2020. <laughs> I guess I wish that maybe my life would have turned out a little bit differently, but um, I have to say that I feel that I lived my life as I thought was the best way possible given the circumstances that I was faced with. But as far as wishes are concerned, I wish that I would have spent a little bit more time with my family, uh, my children. Um, I did travel a lot with my job and uh, that left me um, sort of in the dark with some situations as they were growing up. Okay. So I regret that probably more than anything. Okay. Um, if you could go back and do it all again, would you? And why? Well, sitting here and thinking about that question, I would say yes. But not having the benefit of knowing then what I know now, um, I think that I, I did the best I could under the circumstances, so I don't know that I would change anything. I probably, if I had the opportunity, would just be a little bit more focused on the things that I did. Okay. So now we're going to move on to death. death. This is exciting. Um, uh, do you believe that there's a life after death? Yes. Good. Okay. Um, is there anything more you wish to do before you pass? <clears throat> um, I had a very, very severe heart attack three years ago, four years ago, and uh, um, the heart doctors literally saved my life. I was dead on the table, and he also did seven bypass procedures. Um, when I woke up, he came in and he congratulated me, and I had no idea why he was congratulating me. And he explained that he'd saved my life and did all these procedures. And uh, he said, good luck with the future. And at that time, 
I had just decided that I needed to thank people for being alive. And so my wish is to help people any way I can. So our last two questions here. Um, have you accepted death? Like the fact that it's, it's coming. Yeah, I, I've seen enough people die that I know that it's coming and there isn't anything you can do to change it. Uh -huh. I don't think anybody really wants to die. Um, but if you're able to face the reality of accepting that it's going to happen, it makes it much easier. Um, but then again, you never know when you're going to die. So mm -hmm. you have to live every moment as if it's your last, I guess.